What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Saito, and I'm back. Before we to it, make sure you like, tell and subscribe, as you always. Watch the video. Brooklyn for us and Deshae went to the club last night while on stream and while leaving the club the cops pulled up with weapons and arrest Deshae's cousin. Allegedly Whoa. someone called the cops and said that the cousin had a weapon in the club. Hey. No! I will shoot you. Get on the ground. No! Okay. Yes. What, what the fuck? Get no! Get no! <laughs> what is going on Deshae? Deshae? What is going on? See? This is the, this is the cons about that streaming stuff bruh. Uh, we all see multiple, multiple streamers getting, uh, what is it called? Swatted. When somebody make a false report, I don't know what they say to the law, but they come for a SWAT team just like this and even worse. See? Like, when he first said now that he was finished, that he was going to do this, I said don't do it, even though I'm just one person, so therefore he wasn't going to say it anyway. But and he going to still, you know, do what he got to do. But that's the con, bro. That's the kind you're showing people that you're outside, who you're with, where you're at, what you got on, and what you're doing. Everybody's not cool, bro. Everybody's not a fan. Everybody's not a supporter. Some people are. Some people will, will literally watch every move you make just so you can make the right one or the wrong one, and they're going to make you pay for it. Sad to say. Go by three, five in the nursing hour, like, really for like a six out of But like even then, it just depends on like how busy the jail is right now. Yeah. All right. And you think how much would that bill be? So even then, it'll probably be like nothing. Nothing. It could be. It just, it just depends on depends on who the judge is. Depends on like because I don't know what the charges are. So yeah, yeah. It depends on all that. Okay. So the way that they do is like they look at the they call it the criminal history. They'll take the criminal history, look at that. They have any like violent whatever. Yeah. That will like depend on the you that on the bond. They have like family violence or whatever. You know what I mean? If it's okay. some like they have been arrested for like public insults or whatever, that doesn't really apply to that. Yeah. She right here. But the bond will be dictated by the judge depending on like the history. past history. Yes. Okay. No, he's over here. Okay. They're all over here. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. He don't got no criminal history, so we should be able to show. You. Fredo recently was asked about That's boxing crazy. DDG. They were scheduled to box April, May, but Aiden, who was supposed to host the boxing match, he didn't have the proper paperwork, so they had to cancel the boxing match. But here's what Fredo had to say. Do you think you could win a fight with DDG? Ah, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> On a scale of one to hey, 10. he can't win it. Uh, to be honest, if I, you know, if I get in the gym, I train hard, I put myself to it, I could do anything. So, so what you're there's saying nothing is, in this world that I can't do. So what you're saying is you're not in the gym right now? Uh, not like fighting to like to fight. Okay. Like no. Like, How many? Ain't your baby mama pregnant, bro? Just thought about that. Didn't they just announce they having a new uh, another baby? You know, twenty versus one. Okay. Okay. How many rounds? <laughs> That's kind of weird, but okay. Oh man, yeah, it's a good question. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to put. Oh, do you think it's gonna be a knockout type shit? I think it'll be a good fight. I feel like, you know, on both sides. Bro, by the time we ever see them ever, ever get in the ring, they're going to be 40 years old. We both got the, the energy and spirit to want to knock each other out. Like, if I get in the ring, I'm going to want to knock his ass out. I can't say what round, but I'm going to want to do it. Corey's girlfriend speaks out after her video to Carmen was trending. Here's what she said in that video. There. I don't care what he say, what he do, how he breathe, how he speak. I own him. It's done. I've taken his soul. Uh, I own him. <laughs> as long as y'all know, I'm good to go. And here's the girlfriend response. Do I own you, babe? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> that video is so embarrassing, y'all. Like, if embarrassing was a person, it's me. Well, it's really Corey's fault because nobody told him to post that. He know I'm trolling. I'm having fun. Whoop de whoop. Now I'm embarrassed on the internet. 360 of me. Here. That's what you could get. Am I mixed? I'm you. People are just looking down on you because of who you're who you're with. I am like again, it's because of who you're with at this very moment. And again, at this time, you know, after him, him and uh, Carmen break up, divorce, whatever, 
you probably wouldn't get you know some of the backlash that you do that you do be getting. But I can't say that one thing I do like about you that is that you stand on business or you stand on like you not letting him disrespect Carmen, even though that that video was kind of towards her. But I did see a video before you saying that you you not letting him disrespect her, the mother of his children. So I respect that. Dominican. Dominicana, why aren't you with Corey right now? Child, he ain't never too far. I just need some space right now. I'm starting to get tired of his face. So y'all be together. Y'all, from the moment that Corey and I started dating, literally, from the, forget dating. From the moment that we linked up and like, and hung out in real life in person, we have been with each other ever. Every single day since. I borderline lost all my friends. You still in Houston? Nah, we in freaking Alabama. We left Houston this morning. Now we're in Alabama. And then we're about to go home to Atlanta. Where are y'all going to live? We live in Atlanta. He said we. Did we get tired of him? Nah, I, nah, he. Talk about. But we. Ciao. So you gonna be a stepmama? She already is. Yeah. Every man's kid. <laughs> man yeah. Somebody asked me in my clingy in relationships. So that's the thing. Normally I'm not. Like I am like the kind of girl that hates like I hate the whole everyday like I've never I've never I've only lived with one guy before and that was like my ex husband. I've never lived with a guy before. This is not the second person that I'm I'm living with him and we're not married. But like yeah, I'm live we live together. So it's just like how do I feel about what situation actually I don't even care to answer the question sorry like no disrespect to you but it's like my feelings don't matter what matters is that i'm happy that's it that's it anything else i have to say um but yes guys i was married your feelings don't matter what I was actually married. You like Corey now, bro. Tech, you know, divorces take a long time, right, guys? Like, divorces are not overnight. And so, for people to expect people to not, like, from a me that I was never about to be dating a nick. Bro, I got, I separated from my husband two years ago. I just got divorced three weeks ago. Fun fact, cores. Divorces take a long time. It's not an overnight one two process. It takes a long time, especially when you're talking about having kids. So, for people to expect a month to date other people, because they're legally married, like y'all gotta be really like on like on drugs. One thing to live with somebody and you come home to them, but you with them all the time too. It's like yeah, I both I realize I can't do both. I need I do I do need but I I do need a little bit of space. But at the same time, I can't explain it because it's just like he, like one time he wanted to go hang out with his friends, and I almost lost my shit. I'm like no. <laughs> So it's like, I feel like I'm with him. I'm like fake clingy. And like, I'm over here popping shit to y'all. But like, let tomorrow come and I'm trying to go, go somewhere by myself. Or he That's that Gemini stuff, bro. Hey, trust me. Y'all be hating us. But when, when, when we get y'all, I get addicted. For real, for real. I'm gonna go somewhere by himself. Like, I can't really control the hate. I can't control how people feel about me. People that don't know me. You get what I'm saying? How, what am I supposed to do? I'm grown. I'm 27, y'all. Like, I know. I know what the fuck going on. Like, I know what the fuck going on. I know what I'm doing. I got this. I got this, y'all. Relax. Relax. I got it all under control. And when I don't have it on under control, I don't have it on under control. I'm a human being. But for right now, but for right now, me. They say you 27. Why did y'all divorce? Kid. Me and my husband got a divorce because um, I just realized that I wasn't happy. I realized that we weren't necessarily at the time compatible. And we started just like arguing a lot. And to our defense or to like whatever, we, we met, got in a relationship, got engaged and got married all under one year. So I don't think that that was enough time to like really... See, and all y'all be talking about some people need to get married like that. Like, see, one year, bro, hell to the no.
ain't no way that's happening. Not me. Not me. Like, we got to, in order for that, in order for it to be within a year, it would have to be dating for some months. Then we got into a relationship. The, the relationship lasted a whole year. And then after that year passed, and then I proposed, like, then, all right, that's a little different. Because then it's not just a year. It's a year and some months if you really want to be technical. But within a year, no, nah, that's 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 crazy. Really, 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 really know each other, um, and a bunch of other things, but pretty much like, bro, you don't trust me. We like people. We gotta a admit when it comes to the relationship part, especially if you if you go, just say you know y'all link up, y'all talk, or y'all talk, y'all link up, and then all right, we're gonna be in a, in a relationship. The first few months say four to six months you're putting on the front you're putting on you're putting your you're putting on your best outfits you're taking them to your best your best uh dating spots you're putting your best energy like you're giving your best within the first few months after that then like all right i'm not gonna <laughs> it's that it's like it's like you stop trying as hard because it's like all right we locked in even though it shouldn't go like that, but sad to say it does go like that. So therefore, that's when that, that real energy shows you who, who this person is. And then sometimes you will see this person is not for you because this person is controlling of A B, if you know what I'm, you know what I mean, controlling or this is down this is all right cheater. So therefore, that one year we're already married, think nah, that's out. <laughs>